tonight remembering Ian Ross. Thanks for your company. Good night. The man who delivered Sydney its news for years loses a short battle with cancer. Also, Tony Abbott's embarrassing back down over his paid parental leave scheme. A young barman left for dead in the middle of the night in a suspected hit run. And the tense struggle as a runaway criminal tries to escape with a policeman's gun. This is 7 News at 6 with Mark Ferguson. Good evening. Tonight we begin with some very sad news about the man who brought Sydney the news for half a century. Ian Ross, who sat in this chair for six years, has died at the age of 73. Over the many years, he became a true legend of Australian television, so respected and so trusted, with such a genuine warmth that all of us loved. After battling cancer, Roscoe passed away early today in a Gold Coast hospital. Ian Ross, Roscoe to his mates, and that meant everyone. Seven News with Ian Ross. Good evening, police. One of the most popular newsreaders in Australian TV history. A perfect mix of on-road experience and on-camera charisma. Sorry, I wasn't quite ready. Oh, really? <laughs> what, did we, did we catch you? People trusted him. They trusted him. They felt comfortable with him. They liked him because he was just a good bloke. He started in country radio, 2MW Moolumba, 1957, switched to TV in 65. From Central Station, Ian Ross, the National Network News. Ian Ross reporting from Central Court. The black and white beginnings of a 50-year career. First, as a general news reporter. The man is still inside this house that you can see down the street here. And after 10 monochrome years, we got to see his true colours. In 1991, Roscoe went off-road into television's most difficult terrain, the studio. And for a decade, he became a constant companion for breakfast. Have you ever when? ridden a cow? I have, as a matter of fact, a couple of times. It's funny, they always <laughs> stand. <laughs> I was going to say, they always stand still until you try to get on. <laughs> Roscoe, for all his poise and professionalism, and he was certainly all of that, uh, underneath that, and not very far underneath, was a propensity to have fun. No one took news more seriously. Hello. You know, you can't mess around with news. But occasionally he did. The Taiwan's Lee Hung Tuan Chang Chang Kai Nai Nai could not get it right. And we loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Our first news coming up at 4.30, then join me for 7 News tonight at 6. Oh. Tonight at 6. A consummate...